today we are making three cafe inspired drinks without the price tag or those long waits. The first drink we're going to be making is a London Fog, which is a tea latte made with Earl Grey and lavender. Start by putting your kettle on to boil and we're going to brew a really strong concentrated cup of Earl Grey tea. I used about two teaspoons of tea leaves and about six ounces of water. I like to slowly pour the water over the tea so that all the essential oils have time to bloom before covering it to trap those oils. Next we're going to work on making our warm and foamy lavender milk. To about six ounces of milk I'm doing a teaspoon of lavender agave to taste. And then after that simmers until it's steaming you can strain out the lavender. While the milk is warm, you want to incorporate some air to get a nice foam. I'm using a cold foamer, but you could also just use a whisk or an espresso machine if you have one. For some final touches, I add a few more pieces of lavender and drizzle on some more agave to make it a bit sweeter. I couldn't call this video a fall drink video without including a recipe for a pumpkin spice syrup. I'm adding maple syrup, pumpkin, cinnamon, cloves all to a pan which you simmer until it all comes together. This can store in an airtight container for about a week. It makes it really convenient to make a pumpkin spice latte whenever you want. Now over here in New England it's pretty much iced coffee season all year round. One of my favorite types of iced coffee is making cold brew. It's so much smoother without that bitterness you get from the heat. You can make it in a large mason jar, but my favorite way to make it is in a French press because the coffee filter is already built in. And you're gonna be using coarsely ground coffee so that the filter is fully able to strain it out. And then you're simply gonna let it rest for 24 to 36 hours before straining it and pouring it over some ice with your favorite creamer. And of course, a little bit of that pumpkin spice syrup and you're gonna be left with a beautiful pumpkin cold brew. I almost always have leftovers, so you can just store that in the jar in the fridge and use it all week long. Bring Cold Brew does use a bit more coffee grounds and hot coffee, so I always like to return the grounds to the soil. It's a great way to reduce waste and give a little boost of nitrogen to your garden. For this last recipe, I'm gonna be making an herbal cider using some foraged ingredients and some ingredients from my garden. Most of these ingredients are high in antioxidants and loaded with vitamin C, so it's the perfect drink to have as we change seasons and try to ward off some of those colds. The plants I'm working with in this tea blend are crushed juniper berries, hibiscus, and a little bit of calendula. It's really amazing how plants can support our body's natural processes and Personally, just working with the plants and even just seeing their beautiful colors gives me a little boost of happiness and energy. To brew the tea, just take your time and pour the water over the herbs, giving them a chance to bloom. And always remember to cover your tea as it steeps so that the oils don't evaporate. Before I go out and forage, I like to take the time to get to know the plants and study them a bit. So they're not strangers that we're just going and taking from, but they're living beings that we can have a relationship with. An optional addition to this drink is about a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, which is packed full of probiotics, but it does give it a bit of a tang. If you don't enjoy that, feel free to skip it. As usual, sweeten to your taste, and then you can stir it up and enjoy. Thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe to support my channel, and I will see you next time!